Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Player Mouse. Today we're going to be doing a ballistic gel test using one of the remaining aluminum turbine bullets. I did modify this one slightly. I drilled a quarter inch hole about one inch deep and filled it full of lead to make it more nose heavy. The person that fabricated and machined these amazing rounds is Tim from Tactical G Code. And if you subscribe to Tim, it gives you kind of a sneak peek of some of the rounds that we'll be shooting in the future with some uh, custom slugs made out of some very exotic materials. One thing you'll notice is the slug is loaded differently into the shell than before. This is a kind of a test design that we're going to be using for the future slugs that Tim is sending to us. That's it. Okay, hit it. Look at that. <laughs> okay, hit it. Look at that. <laughs> okay, it looks like it went in sideways. It definitely went in sideways. Look at that. Yeah, it did. It looks like it. It's gone. And it. it it's ejected. <laughs> It's crazy. There's no exit wound. It's just like a perfect look. Yeah, it just went upwards. Yeah, it's like a tiny, tiny little exit wound. But the, yeah, but the entry wound is huge. Yeah, that would. Don't don't be fingering that now. <laughs> <laughs> look at the powder too, or the. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Sharp. sharp yeah, some. I don't know. It, some came out of it. Man. All right, that'll be interesting to see. That's great. All right, let's take a look at the high-speed footage. As you can see, Darren made a dead center, nice, perfect shot. And isn't that funny looking? It kind of looks like a mouth trying to talk there. But <laughs> but you can see right away that the round is, is flying sideways. And my modification didn't help it at all. But we have a lot of faith in the future designs that Tim is coming up with. Some of them uh, kind of resemble a foster slug or an air rifle pellet. And I can't wait to test out the titanium slugs. Those are just amazing. Now, for those of you interested, our muzzle brake that was designed and built by another channel called Mike Dittman, and he's another machinist, um, it's still working awesome. It's, it's a muzzle brake that is shrunk fit around the barrel. There's no fasteners. And here is his channel if you're interested in what he does and and he is still selling these things I believe I had some uh, technical problems with one of my high-speed cameras but this is the the HD camera and we were able to capture one frame of the round ejecting out of the top and that's what my imagery from the high-speed camera looks like it's all jacked up well we had a lot of fun shooting this ballistic gel this is uh, the clear gel and it was donated to us by a, a channel called The Wound Channel. Over time, as you remelt the gel, it starts to get dark like that. And, you know, The Wound Channel was kind enough to donate it to us. So please check him out. Here are some of the videos that he has produced. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. It only weighs five and three quarter pounds, including sling, and a fully loaded 15 round clip. Will you stop it? <laughs> <laughs>